Here we are at the Psycho Science. Here we have a psycho scientist named Johnson. How are you, Johnson? I'm pretty good. It's great to be here. So what are you and then what do you do? Well, I'm a biochemist and what I do is I study the chemical reactions inside of a living organism. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, what type of personality do you have to have to be in this field? Well, you have to have uh, strong investigative skills and you have to be a, I'd say an artist in a, in a way. And mm -hmm. you have to have strong realistic values okay. in your studies, yes. So where and how can you do such things? Um, well, I think a good place to get experience is probably interning at a lab, and you'd be able to uh, gain good quality experience by doing that. Interesting. Yeah. So we asked one of our reporter, Chris, to uh, to go to to go to go visit one of his labs. So let's check it out. Welcome back. Here we are with PCC's own mad scientist, Professor Johnson. That's right. He's gonna take us a peek inside of his laboratory within the science village. Science village. Yeah. Let's go. So yeah, this is where I keep all my equipment. This is my stock room. You come in here. Hey, child! Hey! Where are the keys? We keep this unlocked all the time. Open the door. I'm open it. Here we are in your lab. Yeah. What are these? Uh, these are just random chemicals like Coke, Sprite, cough syrup. You know how it is. Uh, I got random things. Um, I use the clamp stuff, you know, these uh, random stuff. And uh, I got one of my prized possessions right here. I let my intern, Chow, come here. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell him about this. Tell him about this right here. You know exactly what this is. Huh? <laughs> You've never shown me what it does. So show me, show me the Are you are you kidding me right now? Uh, you couldn't get the door open. It's your fault. Get this camera out of here right now. Hold up. What are you doing? Welcome back to Cycle Science. Here we have another cycle. Chow, his assistant. Chow. How you doing? Nice to be here. So what type of skills or degree do you need to have to be in this field? Uh, first, you need a basic knowledge, your basic knowledge in chemistry and biology, and you have to know how uh, these chemical compounds react with uh, living organisms. Okay, thank you. You can go.